Hi everyone and welcome back for part 2 of this silly series. Now before I go through the model history I'm going to go back to basics and have a look at the vehicle identification number or VIN used on the Elise from 96 to 2001. For the enthusiasts out there you already know how the VIN works but for those of you not familiar with it here is a guide on what it means. So if you're all sitting comfortably I'll begin. Now a lot of information is contained within the VIN about the car that the registration number does not indicate. So if you're thinking of buying an Elise, always try to get the VIN for a better picture of the car you're actually buying. Now for 1996 to 1997 model year, it was all pretty simple. So here we go. The VIN consists of 17 characters coded in accordance with an EU directive. So here is a breakdown of what they actually indicate. Characters 1, 2 and 3 are SCC. This uniquely identifies the manufacturer of the vehicle using the World Manufacturer Identifier or WMI code. And SCC is Lotus. Characters 4, 5 and 6 is the Lotus type number, which for the Elise was 111. Characters 7, 8 and 9 is YN1, which identifies the engine type. Character 10 is the model year. Now the model year does not always indicate the year the car was actually produced. For example, model year 1998, which is identified as a letter W, started production in October 1997. Character 11 identifies the plant the car was built in and for Lotus that is H for Hethel. Character 12 identifies chassis body type. A is right hand drive, F is left hand drive. Character 13 identifies engine emission spec, in this case one which is European spec. And finally the serial numbers, characters 14, 15, 16 and 17 which can be repeated for different models. In general change points will be identified in service notes and service parts list by character 10, the model year and 14 to 17 the serial number. Now for 1998 to 2000 model year it changed a bit but it was still a 17 character VIN. Obviously SCC remained the same. There were now several different engine types so these were now identified with a one letter code in position 4. Character 5 would now identify the type of restraint such as active seat belts or airbags etc. The type number stayed the same but moved position. A validation check digit is added to the lineup. Modier remains in the same place and another assembly part was added being Shah Alam, Proton's factory in Malaysia. This was to build the knockdown kits or CKD Elise to be sold in the Far East market. 180 cars were produced and sent to Malaysia with quite a few of the finished cars sent from Malaysia to Australia. Some more categories were added to the body chassis identifier being race and SVA right hand drive. Character 13 now becomes a model identifier for Elise, 340R and Exceeds. So that's the VIN and what it all means. Now we'll have a look at the model history, the number of cars built and how many service bulletins were issued for each year of the Elise from 1996 to 2001. Now I'm not going to go through each bulletin issue as it would take too long but if you want to know any just contact me on the email below and I'll let you know. The first release was introduced in June 1996 with year identifier T for 1996, model year and serial number 17. 432 cars were built and 9 service bulletins were issued. For 1997 model year the starter motor was upgraded from a 1 kilowatt to a 1.4 kilowatt. The engine management fuse was re relocated from the engine bay to the front services compartment. Now the shape of the chassis at the rear side of the fuel tank cross member changed to accommodate an AC compressor. The engine coolant outlet pipe moved from the top to the bottom. Recirculation ventilation holes appeared in the chassis tow ball. 1955 cars were built plus 180 CKDs from Malaysia this year. Nine service bulletins were issued. Now for 1998 model year, 
a new harness was introduced to accommodate the optional UK Market Cobra 6422 alarm and a new main fuse box was put in the front compartment. The Elise Sport 190 was introduced and approximately 65 cars were built and 35 had the centre seat position. These cars were built by production, then converted by Lotus Engineering for track use only and some SVA cars for road use. Alloy shields were fitted on the inboard side of the front discs to protect from the debris and improve wet weather braking. Some improvements were made to the soft top setup and the seals, but it was still a bloody contraption. Cast iron brake discs and corresponding pads now replace the aluminium metal matrix brake discs. The rear clamshell now incorporates an integral luggage compartment box to replace the removable luggage bag. And for 1998 model year, 3033 cars were built and 9 service bulletins were issued. Now for 1999 model year, the Elise Sport 135 was launched, power up from 118 brake horsepower to 135 using a modified cylinder head, close ratio gearbox, sports exhaust, competition style seats, quick silver paint with a blue soft top. 50 of these were produced with a second batch of 35 later on. Also launched was a 50th anniversary Elise, painted in anniversary green with gold wheels, green and raffia colour leather seats, Elise floor mats and a gold anniversary decal on the rear transom. 51 of these were produced. Now the angled rear window was introduced and for anyone that has driven an earlier car with a flat rear window this was a big improvement as you did not pick up the reflection from the window in the rear view mirror, which could be a bit distracting. Also this year, the Elise 111S was introduced using the BBC engine and close ratio transmission, which I'll cover in more detail later on in this series. The Elise Type 79 was produced, painted in JPS black and gold. The first in a long line of limited editions celebrating the Team Lotus Formula 1 cars this being the Type 79 Formula 1 car. Next was the Elise Type 49, which was painted in gold leaf colours of red, white and gold, this time celebrating the Lotus Type 49 Formula 1 car. Now to finish the old Millennium and see in the new one, Lotus introduced the Elise Millennium, painted in Atlantis Blue. 3,180 cars were built and 17 service bulletins were issued this year. For 2000 model year, and the start of a new century, Lotus introduced the 340R in January, an extreme lightweight version of the Elise limited to 340 cars. In February, the Sport 160 Elise was launched based on the 111S specification with 160 PS fixed valve timing engine. Also in April 2000, the Auto Bytel Elise Championship was launched at Brands Hatch, supported directly from the factory by the new Lotus Motorsport Department. During the day at Brands Hatch, the new Lotus Exceeds was launched, taking a lot of its styling from the race cars. And in July 2000, the first Exceed was built. I'll be doing a separate episode about the 340R and the Exceeds. 2,634 cars were built and 13 service bulletins were issued. Now for 2001 model year, the introduction of the new Series 2 Elise. But 44 Series 1 Elise and 84 Series 1 Exceeds were built and 5 service bulletins issued. So that's the model history of the Elise, the Exceeds 340R, 96 to 2001. In the next part, I'll be talking more about the car, its technical features, construction and powertrain etc. So I hope you can join me for that. And until then, take care, enjoy your Lotus and so long.